Speaker is Bob Grimsley, and he will be followed by Adam Gilbert. Good evening, Mayor, Council Members, and Mr. City Manager. I'm Bob Grimsley, Real Estate Manager with IKEA. I am here because the recommendations included in the BWP staff report dated April 28th regarding policy direction for non-reviewable fuel cell customer generation undermine IKEA's sustainability efforts planned for the new IKEA store City Council approved last year. IKEA has several concerns about the BWP staff recommendations. First, for the past year and a half, as IKEA worked through its development approvals for the new IKEA Burbank store, both BWP and City Council were aware that IKEA was proposing to use fuel cells on this site, in addition to solar panels atop our new store. During this time period, we were told on numerous occasions by BWP staff that they were having an interconnection agreement drafted by an outside firm, that the agreement was required by BWP since IKEA planned to use solar energy and fuel cells on site, and that the agreement would stipulate BWP's requirements for the connection to its distribution lines. It now appears the interconnection agreement was being negotiated by BWP in bad faith. Understanding that BWP wants to ensure that its system could, be da could not be damaged by power flowing back into the grid, among other things, we understood the primary provisions of the interconnection agreement would be for us to install certain metering and backflow equipment on our lines. While waiting to finalize our, any construction agreements prior to closing on the purchase of the property, and after finally receiving BWP's initial draft of the interconnection agreement last fall, we provided BWP with our comments to the agreement and closed on the purchase of the property. So you can imagine our surprise when we were told approximately two weeks ago that BWP would be seeking direction from City Council on fuel cell policy. After we already agreed to purchase a fuel cell system, secured a biogas supplier, closed on the land purchase, and began demolition on site. Actually, fuel cells can be renewable and sustainable, and it has always been IKEA's intent and commitment to use renewable energy to power its fuel cells. We are committed, and, but we are confused at how the staff report can claim that Burbank supports customer power generation, but then prohibits fuel cells under the mistaken belief that fuel cell technology only uses non-renewable non -renewable, uh, fossil fuel or natural gas. This premise is simply not true. While IKEA is one of two companies that have been working with BWP on an interconnection agreement for fuel cell use, it is imperative for you to know that IKEA has committed to sourcing only biogas, a 100% renewable energy source for use in its fuel cells. In fact, we already have a supplier secured and are currently completing installation of a similar facility at our Bay Area store in Emeryville. Our fuel cells will be cleaner than BWP's electricity in terms of producing significantly less carbon dioxide, no sulfur oxide, and a negligible amount of nitrous oxides. Furthermore, the staff report ignores the fact that the use of fuel cells will result in a substantial reduction in water consumption. when compared to the electricity that B BWP can, can generate or provide. Depending on the method of electrical generation, the fuel cell reduces water consumption annually in the range of 625,000 to 2.1 million gallons. Over the 20-year period that we have modeled the reduction in water use by our fuel cells ranges from 12.5 million to 42 million gallons of water. In other words, if council changes the city's policy on fuel cells and prohibits IKEA from using them, we will use an additional 12.5 million to 42 million gallons of water over the next 20 years than we would with the fuel cells that we plan to use. The report also argues that customers who use fuel cells will not be contributing to the recovery of certain fixed costs, which instead would be paced, uh, passed on to other consumers. Not so. 
IKEA has already committed to pay a variety of fees and charges as part of the interconnection agreement that we have been working on with BWP. In fact, we will be paying standby charges, which are not mentioned in the staff report, to cover BWP's fixed charges for any electricity that we generate from fuel cells. But in addition, we are spending an approximately $2 million to upgrade BWP's distribution lines because it maintains it cannot otherwise provide us with electricity. The recommendation before you from BWP essentially forces property owners to choose between either connecting to BWP distribution lines without being able to use water saving clean energy fuel cells or going without electricity. Moreover, if the city were to approve a significant change in Sir? BWP's policy. Sir, yes. five minutes is up. Please conclude All right. your statement. Uh, uh, in, in conclusion, we respectfully ask that the council vote tonight to continue to allow the use of fuel cells and allow us as a BWP customer to compete, complete our project and make a significant investment in water conserving, clean, greenhouse gas reducing energy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next speaker.